So today I'm going to show you an easy way to solve this uh, lead code problem number 121, uh, best time to buy and sell a stock. So basically, we are going to be using the famous sliding window approach, sliding window. So how does it go? And in this case, sorry, let me just write it correctly. So in this case, we are going to be having an iteration through this list. And we are going to be keeping two things. One, we are going to be keeping the profit so far, the profit uh, so far, and we're also going to be keeping the mean, the mean value. Why do we need to keep the profit? Because we need to be calculating the profit along the line and keeping the maximum profit so that at the end of the day, we are going to return that profit. And why do we need the mean value? We need the mean value because the minimum value is when we are going to buy. I mean, the minimum value in this list is when we are going to buy that's going to give us the highest profit. So anytime we see a value that is less than the minimum so far, we are going to update that minimum. So we want to make sure we buy at a time when the value of the minimum is uh, is least, like in this place, okay? And in this case, if you buy at 1, and then you want to sell at 6. So if you come here, you buy at 5 and sell at 6, you are going to make only 1. If you buy at 1 and sell at 6, you're going to make 6 minus 1, it's going to be 5. So what are we saying? We are going to be keeping track as we look. We are going to be keeping track of the profit. And we're also going to be keeping track of the minimum value. But first, let's do a brute force because in, in, in an interview situation, you want to try to think about a brute force way of solving it. So the brute force way is that you're going to start from here, buy here, sell, 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 and keep the maximum profit. Then you buy here, sell, 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 because once you buy, you can only sell, right? If you buy at a point, you can't you can buy here and then go back to sell at one, you understand? So let's try to do brute force and check the time complexity. Uh, and then we do a different method, uh, uh, slide the window, and then we see the complexity. So in this case, let's try the brute force first. Let's, so let's, cut, let's say max profit. And now it's gonna be equal to zero and we are going to now say for i, for int i is equal to zero, i is less than prices dot length i plus plus. And then we are going to start a second loop for <coughs> int j is equal to i plus one. We are going to say int j is equal to i plus one, j is less than prices dot length j plus plus so at this point we are going to now calculate the max profit so we are going to calculate the max profit and the max profit in this case is going to be prices let's call it uh, in profit the, the, the current profit at this time so I'm going to call it in profit is going to be prices j minus prices i so because we are you are, you, are, you, are, you are now selling and then you are subtracting the amount you paid to buy. So we are, we are, uh, you are subtracting the buying price from the selling price. So I'm going to subtract prices I at this point. So that's the profit here. And I'm going to kind of say here, um, so it's gonna be integer. And after calculating the profit, I'm going to simply update the profit, right? So we are going to update the max profit using the maximum value. So I'm going to say max profit is equal to max.max. And I'm going to take uh, one of the two. So it's going to be either max profit or the profit. Okay? The profit, sorry. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day of this place, we are going to simply return max profit. So this is a brute force way of solving it. Let's see if it works. And then we are going to see the time complexity. And then we are going to try another method. I cannot find symbol max profit. So this is going to be max profit. So I'm going to run it one more time. 
Okay, so we're gonna wait for some seconds because this is a free one. Okay, so let's see. So now you can see that it worked, but let's submit it. Let's see if we can get the time it takes to run uh, here. And see, it's taking a large amount of time and it says time limit exceeded, meaning that in an interview situation, you expect that to come out with a better solution than using the brute force method we use at this point. All right, so in this case, now we are going to need, we need to keep track of two values. So let's call the first one int mean is equal to zero. So or the, the maximum profit, so let's call this max profit for now is equal to zero. And let's keep a minimum value. So int mean is equal to, uh, of course, we are going to set it to the maximum value so that anything we see less than it, less than that value we are simply going to replace it so it's going to be integer dot max value and at this point we are going to now start a loop so in this case we are going to be using a for loop like before so it's going to be for int i is equal to zero i is less than prices dot length and i plus plus. Now you need to pay attention to the next part. This next part now, we are going to calculate, we are going to check if the current uh, i position, if the current i position is less than the current minimum, and then we are going to replace the current minimum. So we're going to say if the current uh, price is less than the current minimum price we have. We're going to replace it. So I'm going to say if the current price, which is price is i, is less than the current minimum we have. So it's less than the current minimum, which is mean, right? We are going to simply replace that current minimum. So I'm going to say mean is equal to is equal to price is i. Okay. And else, we are going to simply uh, calculate the profit at that position, at that current position. So I'm going to calculate the profit and say uh, profit, let me say end profit is equal to, so it's going to be prices um, C. So prices I minus the minimum value, so right, minus the minimum value, because the price is I, is, it, is that it is time where I want, we want to sell. Because in this case, we simply update the minimum, but in this case, we don't find the minimum, it means that we are going to sell. So this is our profit now. Once we calculate the profit, we are going to replace the max profit with this profit, if this profit is greater than the max profit. So how to do that is simply using the max function. I'm going to say max profit is equal to max dot max. And I'm going to take the max of both of them. So it's going to be between max profit and uh, the current profit, which I call profit right here. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are going to simply return max profit because as the running profit we've, got, we've been keeping, uh, all the while. So I'm going to just re return max profit. All right, so this is where we are at this point, and I'm simply going to uh, run this code and see, hopefully there is not going to be any error. Cannot, cannot find symbol, max profit. So this max profit, not max profits. And it worked, and now let's see if it passes these uh, text cases after submission. And now you can see that it actually worked. And you can see just two milliseconds and it's faster than 74.38% of Java online submission for the best time to buy and sell stock. So I'd like to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And also if you have some coding challenge you would like me to crack, please let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.